Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? Honestly, guys, we have a very um, plot-driven narrative going here with the vampires, humans, and now a witch who is seemingly teaming up with the Dark Parade. And if that is the case, it's going to be pretty quick uh, when we learn how deadly she can be because not only is she kind of doing her own thing she doesn't seem to be controlled by this darkness she doesn't seem to be um, under its control as much as they're kind of even or maybe she's the one that helped manifest it in the first place something weird like that <clears throat> but what's what, what we see in this week's episode it was a lot of um, interesting scenery <laughs> um, with them heating up and needing to take off each other's clothes or at least take off his clothes because he has poison and he was feeling feverish it was just surprising to see that he recovered uh, like the next day so I'm guessing it was like some kind of poison that was meant to slow down the target so it's easier to practically take him out once they're poisoned by it that being said though hearing Dante and uh, the other guy having their own reasons for being here about the witch definitely uh, changed the idea of Joanne from being, oh, I just need to kill Chloe to now there's something else in the works because the person who sent her to kill didn't, didn't give her any other reason but to do that. Follow these orders, do it, and don't ask questions is pretty much where she's at with it. Um, but now, with everybody here, you get to hear different sides of the story, why other people are out here. But, of course, they didn't give us that information. <laughs> um, whatever this information of Chloe is, the witch, it was probably too much. Uh, and we're going to learn quite more about it through her telling it herself. Um, but she is considered a vampire, so it also begs the question, why is she a witch, and why isn't other vampires witches, you know? So, I think that has to do with this whole, uh, darkness, this whole, uh, person working with her, maybe giving her more abilities, or, like we see with the wolf, maybe just making different ways of powers and whatnot. But overall, we have no idea what she actually is or why she can turn into this giant beast. But we do know there's a lot of people who are hunting her and trying to pretty much put in any type of uh, lies or different deceptions about her to make it seem like she just needs to be killed off, that she's a problem. So, all that being said, I'm very curious to see what she has to say, what the dark uh, parade guy has to say. And yeah, let me know what y'all are thinking. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will definitely talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.